I am now king. The custodian of the revered of all of Umuri kingdom. And you will definitely accord me that respect. Oh, come off it, brother. You know I respect you a lot. But the very moment you started encroaching into my privacy and using your king position to tame my sexuality, every respect I had for you dwindled. I keep forgetting you know who has ruled you have an abomination hanging around your neck. Why am I even wasting my time having this conversation? This conversation is very necessary because I, Princess Ebubene, I will get married to Lady Charles. <laughs> How dare you mention that name? Are you mad? Slapped me. Mention that name one more time and I will do worse. You surely regret this. <laughs> What happened? She walked out on us. What? Why? I don't know. And you didn't care to find out why she did that? I didn't even know when she did. Before I could know it, she was out of our sight. This is getting serious. I will not take this. I will not take this insult and embarrassment from Ibu Benne. She will incur my wrath. Please, please, it hasn't gotten to that yet. Everything will be sorted out. She listens to you. Go talk to her because she will not like the other side of me. Okay, where is she now? I don't know. Let me have yes. the keys. Let me have the keys. Where are we going? I want to drive myself. Give me the keys now. She's not taking her calls. You see? She will not take her calls because she knows what she has done. But by God, if a bubene pushes me, I will lay curses on her. My husband, he hasn't gotten to that. For now, he hasn't gotten to that. But if she doesn't change from her ways, I will sure lay curses on her. My husband, please take it easy. I will speak to her. I'm sure she will listen. You have been speaking to her and she's not listening. But you see, in this case, she must listen. In fact, she has no choice but to listen. I will continue speaking to her and I pray she listens. But, please, can I ask you a question? Of course. This is marriage. You can't force her into it. Who told you anybody is forcing her into it? Nobody forced the Bubena into this situation. She by herself asked this young one to come with his people only for her to turn around and stage a walkout in the face of no provocation. Who does that? Did you ask Nairi if he did anything to her? Papa. I am telling you that I was there myself. The young man did nothing to her. This is becoming complicated. And I will not let her complicate my life and that of the royal family. Because my father will turn in the grave if that happens. Sweetheart. 
hearts. My darling. Huh? What's wrong with you? You did not sound well over the phone. And here you are looking upset. What is the matter? My brother is at it again. I thought as much. What has he done this time? He also forced me into marriage. I know. I know that should be the matter on the front line. And what did you say to him? I didn't say anything. I, I just walked up on them. Then? I don't understand. My love, as we speak right now, the idiot came with his people to make his failed intention known to my kinsmen. I, I, still, I still don't understand. Have you been talking with that young man to the extent that he came to meet with your brother and the kinsmen? Whatever he's doing, he's on his own. Sweetheart, that doesn't answer my question. It's a long story. Long story. All right. <laughs> you know how much I love stories. Uh -huh. More especially. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She's sleeping in a way of life, eh? yeah. 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 practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. My husband, the people are waiting. You need to go dismiss them. Please help me do that. That would mean adding salt and injury. How do you? The princess walked out on them. And then the next person they're saying is the queen. Coming to tell them the king says they can go. My dear, that would be really embarrassing. Yeah, you're right. But the question is, how do I face them? You are the king. I believe you will always have your way. They are your subjects. They'll listen to you against all odds. Now, your addressing them will help bring down the tension. It would give them reason to hang on to what they came for. At the same time, it would serve as self-respect from the king to his subordinates. You have a point, yeah. That is why I am insisting that the king go talk to his people. You know, you alone know how to get into my head. I'm just being a good wife. Remember to tell them that all hope is not lost. Okay, my special advisor. Thank you very much, my wife. I have to go now. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. What is her problem? Why would she drive up with such speed? How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But I thought she had visitors and she's leaving. See, let me tell you. This presence is becoming a nuisance in this compound. And it doesn't tell good stories about her. She has visitors. They are still inside. And she left them. Just like that. Something is wrong with her. Mind the way you talk about the princess. She could fire you. Fire me too. <laughs> She has to be the one to hire me before she can fire me. She did not hire me. She cannot fire me. She did not hire me. You can't just believe what happened. Will you ever do something meaningful with your life other than to gossip? Hey, please! I'm not here because of you. Day your day. Of course you can't be here because of me. I am glad you know I am not caught out for your gossip. Just wait, 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 wait. My dear, the princess just walked out on her suitors. Hey, wait. Hmm. Why, Connie? She didn't say why she walked out though. The princess I know cannot do that. She loves me and dearly that she can go to any land to marry him. That means you are not in touch with the reality. Everyone who came last six months to marry the princess, it ended in disaster. Carlo came, the same story. 
Emmanuel came, the same thing. We shouldn't be surprised to see the princess walk out on this again. But wait, who, who has been feeding you with this wrong information? I don't think that's the wrong information. Because you know, say, you just came to the palace. You never know what's up. You don't know what happened in the past, though. My question is, why is the princess doing this? Mami, they ask, or they ask a question. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. i to she learns from the wisdom world. It's a taboo in our own culture and traditions. Tell me, what is your plan? I am not interested in getting married to him. So when he's done wasting his time at the palace, he will simply go. I your brother. What if he insists that you get married to that young man? He can't take decisions for me. I am a full grown adult now. I know, sweetheart. I just ask, what are you going to do? <sighs> My love. I cherish everything we have together and we have come a very long way. No man on the surface of this earth can separate us, not even at a gunpoint. I love you. Is that a promise? No. What? It is more than a promise, but an oath that I will never break. I love you and I want to be with you forever. But the question is, are you ready to spend the rest of your life with me? Sweetheart, you know I've always dreamt to spend the rest of my life with you. And I... <laughs> You don't have anything more to say. The most important thing is, I love you and you love me too. And that is what matters. <laughs> you just made my day. <laughs> Why did you say that? <sighs> because I didn't know you would be going all the way with me. <sighs> Considering the tradition and your position as the princess. But I'm happy. I love you too. Look. I value what we share. I appreciate, adore, and cherish every single moment we spend together. And no tradition, not even our tradition, can separate us. I, Princess Ebubene, will do everything possible to make sure that we spend our lives together. I love you. This is the <laughs> best news of the century. I know. I love you more. <laughs> Cheers to forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your Majesty. Miss it. Your Majesty. There is no cause for alarm. Everything is on course. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. It's here. Your Majesty. Udodi. We trust your judgment, Your Majesty. But what next should we do? 
So I'll speak with my sister and then um, I'll tell you what we agreed upon. But be rest assured that she'll marry your nephew. <laughs> Thank you for your sounding assurance, Your Majesty. Yeah. You're welcome. I am a man of my words and I intend to keep this very well. Over time, you have proven to be a man of your words and we have no doubt on what you have promised to do. You know, I like it when people remind me who I am. Um, Your Majesty, so when are we expecting to hear from you? Uh, let's see, by weekend. By then, I would have had a, an in-depth conversation with her and then the process of you getting married with her would have been set in motion. Uh, this is the best news of my life and I am glad this is coming directly from you, Ezo Klishi himself. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> On that note, I have to be a man. Oh, fine. Go well. Oh. All right. May the God be with you. Thank you. Thank you. In too many ways, the princess is destroying herself. You are right, but the fact is that she doesn't know what she's doing. The princess knows what she's doing. We are the one who do not understand what she's doing. I don't need to understand her, but let me tell you a piece of my mind. I am waiting for her at a particular junction. <laughs> what baffles me is that the king is not doing anything to stop her. On the contrary, the king is actually doing something. But she's not the princess now, she's very stubborn and doesn't listen to anybody at all. If she's stubborn, she's not stubborn. It's none of my business. But let the king assert his authorities on her. That's the right thing to do. You're right, Ezine. Yes. You're very right. Because if it were to be a commoner, maybe by now the person must have been dead or the vigilante must have died with the person. So let the king do something. Of course. You're right. <sighs> Ezine, mm? you said you waited for her somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, if I may ask. Yeah, was a boy asking the same thing. Well, it's best known to me. I am not letting it out to anybody huh? until that time is right for me to vent my anger on her. <laughs> huh. Just don't pitch yourself against the princess, so you know she's a very dangerous person. Relax. Relax. She's not the only person that is mad, okay? I will show her that I am not upstairs. Isn't it, isn't it? Yes. No <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. But see I hope it's going to go well. See then. All right. Mwah. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. All right. I stand on this and that's final. If you do not shut your mouth, I will give you a dirty slap. My husband, please take it easy. We can actually have a decent conversation without anger. Ebubene, don't push me. If you push me, I will pounce on you like a lion and you will not know what hits you. Can I ask you a question, brother? His Majesty. As the Ugilisi of Umori Kingdom. That is how you will address me henceforth. Because I can see that you calling me brother has made you forget I am the king of this kingdom. You're dragging this thing too far. I don't like it. We're just having a normal discussion for crying out loud. Yes, we were. We were having a normal discussion until you came in with the disgusting part. If you're upset, if you're upset, then I'm, I'm sorry. Go tell that to Nanyere, not me. I wouldn't do that. Wait, I, 
Are you going to force me to marry someone I don't like? Is this, is this girl possessed or what? What is wrong with you, Ebubene? Over ten men have come for your hand in marriage in seven months. And you have turned all of them down. Is this how you expect to carry on? Nothing is absolutely wrong. Then why do you keep turning all of them down? Because I don't like them. Simple. I don't like them. I put it to you that you must marry Nanyere. And that is final. My friend. Did you hear him? Did you hear what he just said? Take it easy. I'm sure the king will align with you. Are you sure he's ever going to accept it? Very sure. I mean, you weren't expecting him to clap for you at first. It is good that you're showing your insistence on not doing his path. Soon he won't have a choice but accept. Alright? Alright, I can't I'll just try and I'm gone. Rejected food yesterday night because of her. And my question is, are you going to continue like this? I love the princess. And she means the world to me. We know you love her. But you cannot punish yourself because the princess turned you down. But there are so many beautiful ladies in this only kingdom now. You can choose one and marry and move on with your life. But brother, there are so many ladies in this Umuri kingdom and beyond. Hmm? They can choose one and marry and move on with your life. The princess or no one else. Brother, that is the kind of word I would not like to hear in this kind of situation. Well, let's not go into argument at this moment. But wait too. What's the reason for turning you down? She does not give me any tangible reason. Just like that. She said she was no longer interested in the marriage. Yes. That means something is wrong somewhere. What do you mean by that? But she was the one that asked you to come with Uncle Samaka to make her into your intentions known to the family, right? Yes. All of a sudden, she turned you down. Honestly, this is not right, Papa. You just told the messengers of the king who came to fetch you that you are not going to the palace to answer. Oh, Papa. Why would you have a problem with that? Hey. No, would you have preferred I lied to them by telling them that I was coming when I had no such intention of going to the palace? Listen, I already communicated to the king what he must do. And as long as he is not willing to do that, he should stop sending messages to come and fetch me. Hey. Because I am not going to answer. Hey, Papa. Papa, you cannot bear grudges against the royal family forever. Every war has a termination date, unless if you want to make this particular war an endless one. Please, Father. Please. Find a way in your heart to forgive whatever the princess has done wrong and resume your duties at the palace as the ruler of this land. You know, you know, the more you speak, 
The more it downs on me that you don't even understand what is going on. But I just stated the obvious. What you stated is very far from the obvious. Simple. I give up. Please, Papa. Can you please enlighten my ignorance as regards to this? Ego. The only thing I am going to tell you is that I am not at war with the royal family. Then why have you jettisoned your sacred duties as the Onowu of this kingdom in the palace? Why? Okay. Did you try to find out why she turned you down in such a way? Not yet. But don't you think it's wise to find out why? You are right. I intend to do that. Well, we should help you do that. Don't worry. I will do that myself. Brother, we care about you. And I still suggest you move on. <sighs> At this point, I am done with this conversation. You are our only brother. And we feel your pain so much. Stop making it look like we are disturbing you. Jetachi. Brother. And Sumto. Brother. At this point, I want to be left alone. We will oblige you. But can you at least come and eat your food? I am not hungry. Why are you doing this to yourself now? You have not eaten and you are drinking. Don't you know you will develop us at through this? Seems both of you don't want me to have peace in this house. You can stay. Hey, go, what is this? Does it mean you cannot leave me to have some peace in my own house? How can I, Father? How can I, with what has just happened, you expect me to still believe you are not at war with the royal family? I am not just expecting expecting you to believe. I am telling you here and now as your father and as the only who of this kingdom that I am not at war with the royal family. They know what I have asked them to do. What I have asked them to do is the right thing. And until they do it, I am not going back to that palace. Hi. Hello, darling. How are you today? Of course, we heart. And you? <laughs> I'm fine. Just that. What? I don't need to voice it out, okay? I know you already know what's up. I'm home. And I'm home alone. Why don't you just come around and we can have fun together? Oh, that sounds very romantic. I need for you, my love. <laughs> okay, so I just have a few things to tidy up and afterwards I'll be with you. Wow. I can't wait to be with you. Same here. Make sure you remain in the mood, okay? Until I see you. She's living away what life is. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She don't want to let it go. Do you think no woman do win this battle? I think so. On my own part, I don't think he's going to win the battle. Why do you say that? We all know how powerful the king is. 
He inherited his intimidating presence and authority from his late father. And no one, I repeat, no one in this kingdom says no to him whenever he takes a stand on something. You are right, Sindidi. But no one is fighting for a just cause. He's fighting for the good of the land. We know. And that is why I pray he doesn't abandon what he's demanding for. Because we may be heading towards doom if the king insists on not going for cleansing. <laughs> a time is coming when we will all go for a protest. <laughs> That's the least the king will tolerate in this kingdom. You're right. But he's indirectly pushing us towards that direction. The people's opinion matters and it counts. But if they are overruled by the king, they might revolt. <laughs> I pray it doesn't get to that. Honestly. <sighs> Nanyare. Your Majesty. I sent for you. Yes. I'm thinking. Don't you think it will be good that you have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with the princess to know where she stands in all of this? Your Majesty, I have tried all my best to do that. I even called her through her yesterday. She did not pick my call. Why? I don't know, Your Majesty. Did you try sending her a text message? I did, Your Majesty. She blocked me even on WhatsApp. Okay, it's okay. You just go out to the real garden and wait. She'll join you there shortly. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Really and while you're there, the maidens will offer you whatever you need as you wait. I really appreciate Your Majesty. If you do this for me, I will continue to hold you in high esteem, my king. <sighs> Nayere, don't worry. I see you as a good man. And my sister will definitely marry you. I'll see to that. Okay? Thank you. You can wait for her. Okay. My presence. Can I pour you the juice? Uh, no. Can I leave? No. Can you... Can you please turn around? Like 360? Yes. Uh-huh. Slowly. Oh, okay. My princess, if you don't mind, let me go and check what I have on fire before it starts burning. Really? Yes, my princess. Okay, you can you can go and check your food, but please make sure you come back at night. Thank you, my princess. 10 p.m. prompt. All right, my Don't forget. Okay. Oh. Oh. I never knew she was this endowed. Oh. What is going on? You promised to make everything smooth for me. And I am keeping to my promise. No, you are not. By now you're supposed to have convinced the king to allow the princess live her life to fullest. See, what we are doing is international best practice. It does not contradict any law. I know. But our tradition forbids it. And you know it. Oh, to hell with tradition. The Western world has accepted it. Embraced it. I don't know what is wrong with Africa, that they find it very difficult to impress. That's the challenge we're going to face. 
Honestly, I don't like the way you're sounding right now. How do you mean? You are the queen. Talk the king into accepting and approving my marriage with the princess. Yes. You can as well talk him into, into creating a new law in Umori that will allow same-sex marriage. Simple. You did not just say that. Exactly what you heard me say. And that is what I want you to do. I would not do that. Why? Because it is against our belief. It's the exact opposite of what our people believe in. It's ago we had an agreement. Remember? I am a woman of many sides. Do not push me. Greetings, Your Majesty. How did it go? Do you know we said we should tell you that you know he cannot come to the palace now? Okay, you may go. You're just making this whole thing look like I am not doing my best. I am. The thing is, you're not targeting any lady. Your target is the princess whose brother, the king, does not play down on tradition. I have already made it clear to you. To be honest, I am not happy. I do not want to have any issues with you. I'll keep trying my best to ensure that your desire is accomplished. That is what I want to hear. I know that's what you want to hear. Can I go now? I have not offered you anything. Does it look like I want to take anything? And it looks like you are angry because I told you the truth. No. I'm angry because you misunderstood me. Okay, fine. There is no need of anyone being angry. Now, we have an understanding, right? See you some other time. All right. Have a nice day. I will keep pushing until I get my heart desire. Good afternoon, sir. Good oh, afternoon, man. Yeah. Should I? Oh, oh, don't worry, sir. Don't worry, sir. Oh, thank, thank you, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. To the best of my knowledge, you have been informed about the guest waiting for you at the Royal Garden. Why haven't you gone to see him? I have not gone to see him because I am not expecting any guests. This particular guest has already received a real welcome from the King. You cannot keep him waiting. What is going on? What exactly is going on? Why are you forcing me to see a case I don't want to see? Why? If you must forget everything, Ebubeni, do not forget I am king. And I speak to you as king. You will go to that garden, you will see that man, and make sure you have a fruitful discussion. Is it by force? Is it by force to get married to someone I don't want to get married to? Ah. Let's know what I am thinking about. Why would a woman look at her fellow woman and lick her lips? Why are you talking like a kid? Eh? Let me tell you, the spirit of lesbianism has gone deep into her system. <laughs> I'm not part of this discussion now. Why are you hiding from the truth? See, this thing has gone deep into her. I am still shocked. 
Where in this world did she learn that from? I don't know. I, I don't even want to talk about this ever again. So, what are you going to do? Like, I am still confused. If I tell you I'm not confused, I'm a big liar. <sighs> well, let us not conclude yet until you go and see her later. That's true. I'm afraid I can't go back there. Ah, you have to. You have to. She's right. Eh? She's the princess. You are just a maid, so you cannot disobey her words. Babes, with what I saw back there, going in there would be a grave mistake for me. She will do something silly and nasty. You're just imagining this, so because I have never heard that a woman raped her fellow woman. I have never. And I'm not going to be one. God forbid. It can never be my portion. Calm down. Calm down. Let's not just sit here and conclude, okay? When you go there later, you will know. Then, you both will go with me. Eh? Please, I'm not going with you. Same here. You have to go alone now because I'm not going anywhere with you. Yes, and you had a problem. I don't understand. Why will you ever understand? Because you have chosen to go blind. No, 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 no. No doubt. There is a problem somewhere. Please, my love, can you talk to me? <sighs> and that is exactly the reason I am here. To talk to you. I want to ask you a very simple question. Do you know what it is to be married? I mean, do you know what it is? You have an idea what it is for someone to be fully married. Of course I know. And that is why I have indicated interest in making you my wife. Oh, sh stop that bullshit. Your wife indeed. Even in your wildest imagination, I, Princess Ebubene, will never get married to you. Do you think I am one of these maidens in the kingdom where you want to get married or you get married to them against their wishes? I, Princess Ebubene, will never get married to you. Honestly, my love, I am surprised with all of this. I thought we both have already crossed the stage. In your dreams, the earlier you wake up, the better for you because I will never get married to you. Princess, your words are most confusing. Can you talk to me and let me understand where is this coming from? You see, um, I've forgotten that your name again. I've always known you to be a man with fish brain. Huh? I mean, little fish brain. And you've just confirmed it. Yes. What? Yes. Princess. No matter what, Onyeze, the king of Umuri must not be kept standing. Can you please come inside and I can assure you that there no woman no we have the right color to present to a man of your status. And you think I'll be inclined to eat cola with your no woman, though? Considering whom you have become lately? Well, I am still the Sinzenoza of this kingdom. And no matter the problem, no matter what it is that has erupted, the one who is already on Yenze must sit down and eat cola. Eh? I'm a cookwad, Yenze, I told you. It's okay. You can bring the cola, but I'm not following you inside your house. We can do it here. We can do it here, yes. Princess, I didn't just wake up and came here with my people. We actually sat and talked about this, and you were the one that advised me to come with them. You pressed me beyond limit, and I simply said what you wanted to hear. Wait a minute. 
You mean you never meant any of that? From the deepest part of my heart, considering the build-up and the sorry chemistry between us, <laughs> you shouldn't have expected anything otherwise. Yes, I meant every single word that I said. Princess, does it mean you have been fooling me all this while? If that's how you see it, then it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. I was only having fun chatting with you. Yes. Princess, does it ever occur to you that I love you and you mean everything to me? Does it? <laughs> oh. Permit me to say you're living in fool's paradise. Yes. I guess you are teasing me. Teasing you? Uh, yes, of course. Mm, no, I'm not. Uh, princess, if this is a joke, you better stop it. We are not playmates. And I simply can't leave my busy shadows to come sit here and play with you. So no, it's not a joke. But princess, why? <sighs> you see, my dear, it's been a long time coming. And I think this is the appropriate time for me to tell you. It is over between us. Yes. And as we are talking right now, I have moved on. And I expect you to do the same. Please move on. Um, princess, I understand that you are not on your right frame of mind. And I will give you time to think about the love that I have for you. I will pay you a visit later. Okay? No. There is no need revisiting because I, Princess Ebu Bene, I do not have anything to think about. So please, do not come back here. Princess, I'm seriously in love with you and I want you to think about this place. Please do later. <sighs> this guy's still dreaming. I pray he wakes up soon. I'm going to show you what you want. You can do much more you have. All those who claim to love the kingdom must show it in their actions. Can you go and answer? Can you go and watch him? You better make up on a new one. Actually, better make up a new one. He said, "Oh yes, I'm going to watch him." You can take your call. Oh yes, and not just because you are. You are only as a, you are actually the king of Umori, and this is your title man. Eh? Now we can go straight to the reason I'm here. Actually, any decision can now start. But no, you need to come back to the palace. So many things have been left unattended to because of your absence. <laughs> you know, I knew that was your destination when you were praying on the sacred inzu. And you were saying that all those who claim they love this kingdom should show it in their actions. I am going to tell you right away that I love this kingdom. Even our ancestors, when they are consulted on the characteristics of Ugili, will confirm to you that I can die for this kingdom. The issue is I am one man who will always insist that the right things must be done at all times. And that is the case here. What you are asking is very difficult to know. Why is it difficult? Eyebrows will be raised. People will want to know what's going on. And that very secret we are trying to keep to our hearts will be in the open. Well, I need to let you understand that I am one man who will not be part of any secret that is going to destroy. I will not keep it. The princess has committed an abomination. And for us to move on as a people, she must have to submit herself for cleansing. And that is what I am insisting on. Can I ask you a question or no? Go ahead. Do you have any personal problem with the princess? Well, the princess is too small to have a problem with a man like me. So why are you insisting she must go for cleansing? Well, I am not just insisting on the princess going for cleansing. The cleansing is actually for the entire royal household. Does that include me? 
With all due respect on yesterday, the answer is yes. You must be joking. No, I am not joking. I am telling you what is going to happen. The cleansing must take place for us to move on as a people. Oh no, I know what you want. And I make you a promise that we will move on as a people. We will do what is right. Just come back to the palace. No, Your Majesty. Are you saying we will not hold our festival of Nchekwa War? The festival must surely hold. <laughs> this is the year for the festival. And it must hold because it is a creation of our ancestors and it must be respected by all. No. I am king. I know. And I implore you, let's put all of this behind us and forge ahead. Come back to the palace. Well, the only way we can forge ahead, like you said, is that the cleansing must take place in line with the way our forefathers planned it. She must be cleansed. And after the cleansing, then the festival will hold. That is the only way it will be a blessing to our women and not something that is going to destroy them. Where have you been? I've been asking questions about the princess. I don't understand. Why are you asking questions about her? I want to know the reason why she rejected her brother the way she did. So were you able to find out why? Yes, of course. Nice one. Tell me. Where is brother Nanyelu? He went to the palace to see the princess. Okay. Anyway, brother will not marry the princess. Why? The princess is in two women. I don't understand. There's nothing there to understand though. The princess is a lesbian. And not just a lesbian, a cold one that doesn't allow men to near her. What? Chetachi, you just spoke an abomination against the princess of this kingdom. You know me very well. I don't say what I don't know. But who told you this? That one is not a problem now. The issue now is our brother will not marry a lesbian. Please, let me help you and pick up next. Okay. Oh. Yes, come in. told you to stop addressing me with that. Address me, sweetheart. You are my baby. You shouldn't address me with that, okay? Okay. Always call me sweetheart. Okay. Is that okay? Come on, come here. Come, sit. Sit on my <laughs> How are you? Okay. Did you miss me? Oh. <laughs> okay. What do I offer you? Something that will get you into the mood. I don't want anything. Mm. Okay. So, show me what is in these clothes that you tie so, so. Who do you? Why? What if the princess walks in on us? What will you do? I have told you to stop talking about the princess whenever we are together. I know. It's just that I can't stop talking about the princess knowing fully well that you're cheating on me with the princess. Are we going to talk about the princess all day? Is that why you're here? No. But it hurts me so much that you're sharing me with someone. I'm sorry. You know you're my baby. 
and I love you so much. Okay, very soon. I will do away with the princess and concentrate only on you. Wow, is that a promise? Yes, <laughs> it's a promise, my love. Okay. <laughs> Come on, now you can smile for me and be happy for me. <laughs> I'm happy that you are happy now. No, I can now drink something. Wow, you can now drink. Fine. Let me go get a glass cup. Okay. But before I do that, you can keep yourself busy with my own glass, okay? Okay. Drink. Get swallow. Be a good girl. For me, okay? I will. Sleeping away what life is. Kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. And she don't want to let it go. Why did she turn you down all of a sudden? <sighs> Jude, you can't believe the reason she gave. Reason? Yes. Okay. Talk to me. I'm listening. She said she never meant everything she was telling me. What kind of joke is that? I was shocked when she said that to my face. Was she drunk during the conversation? I was already sitting at the palace garden when she came into the conversation. But did you, did, did you make out time to find out what the problem could be? Judy, I tried my best, but I couldn't lay my hands on anything. This is sounding confusing. I'm sorry, seriously, I'm more confused in here. Yeah. No, yeah, it, um, it hasn't gotten to the point of you being confused here. Maybe you go back to her on a later date. Maybe by then her anger must have subsided. Jude, what you are saying now is exactly what I suggested. But the prince said, said it direct to my face that there is no hope on me coming back to that palace. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I disagree with you on that. You go back to her. Who knows if she's trying to test your love for her? <laughs> my brother, my brother. Um, um, Jude, I will just make up my mind and go back to that place the way you are saying it here. But Princess herself made me understand that there is no hope of me coming back to that palace. You go back. Just start up the car, let's go. Yeah, I will try my best. I will try my best. Mm. That, that girl is really giving me time. I need to start going. Are you sure you don't want to spend the night here? No. Why? My parents will surely look for me. That's right. Okay. Take a bundle of money from the drawer there. And take care of yourself. But I haven't spent the one you gave me the last time. Don't tell me you still haven't spent that money. I haven't spent it. You see the reason why I don't need any more money. I insist. It's my money. Take it. Add it to the one you already have. You are my baby. <laughs> okay. Wow. All this for me? Yes. And you will have some more. As long as you're going to remain a good girl. I remain a good girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> come on, come here. Come and give mommy a hug. Come. <laughs> Bye. That your friend now, Kitty. Okay, okay, eh? What happened? I went there, the mother, if you see what the mother, how the mother is even talking. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-huh. And all the time she's your friend, she's your friend. She, see it now. Advise her now. So Advi- I should leave this girl now. Ad- advise so. who? Me uh, advice. Yes, now. Nah. Who, who would advise me? She's your friend now, so advise her. Listen, listen. She spent maximum 49 minutes in there. What are they even doing inside that place? Do I know? Well, I tend to know. Let's go and find out. No. But you, I thought you said you want to know. Uh-huh. If you go in there now, it will look suspicious. Maybe another time. Okay. Mm. Let's go. I want to discuss something with you, brother. Go ahead and say what you want to say. I don't know how you would take it, but it's the truth. You say what one does I'm listening? The princess is a lesbian. Ah. <laughs> hmm. uh, I thought you have something meaningful to say. I guess you don't believe her. Of course I don't believe her. Or do you expect me to believe what she just said? But it's the truth, brother. I am done with this conversation. No, brother, you cannot continue professing love to a chronic lesbian. Are you mad? There are other good girls out there. Are you mad? Handsome dude? No, are you sick or something? You are calling the woman I want to marry a, 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 a lesbian? Is something wrong with you? Be very, very careful with me. Well, this is not the time to raise voice. So. Have you for once asked yourself why she rejected you the way she did? Princess did not reject me and she would never reject me. You better wake up from this war dream of yours, soon, brother. You better wake up. Hmm. From what I see, there is nothing you will do in this life that will make her marry you. I can see both of you are trying to get me upset. But I will just pretend as if I did not hear what you guys are trying to say against the love of my life. Brother, why are you finding it difficult to believe us? Or do you think we are talking bad about her? I am not just thinking it because that is what you are doing. Far from it, brother. I am hungry. Is there food in this house? Yes. Come in and prepare something good for me to eat. I'm still bringing all this unnecessary lesbianism allegation. I don't want to hear this nonsense here again. Come in and prepare something for me to eat immediately. He's madly in love with the princess, and this will take a lot to pull him out of it. Anyway, we'll still be talking to him. I, I pray he will change his mind. Too. She's sleeping away what life is. Yeah. Yeah. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. Yeah. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She learns from the wisdom world. It's a taboo in our own world. Look at the beautiful one. How are you? You asked to see me. Udoka, the last time we spoke, I asked you for something. I was expecting by now you might have, you know, thought about what I said and give me. I did, unless you didn't understand what I meant. Uh, no, no, no. Doka, the answer you gave me that day was void. It wasn't acceptable. That was why I told you to go and think about it. And by now, I thought you might have gone through it and give me a good answer. My dear, I was very blunt that day. There is nothing to think about. Doka, see. Yes. Udoka, I love you. All I ask is for you to give me the chance to prove that I love you. Give me the chance in your life. I don't love you. And I will never, ever, ever love you. 
Toca, please. Onyeka, we are here to work and serve the royal family. And not to initiate a relationship that will lead us to nowhere. Listen, let me tell you. You should be thinking on how to improve your life. And not thinking of a woman to make your girlfriend. Okay. It's not down. right. Okay, calm down. See, maybe I need to explain further. The family I came from, I am the only male child. And by now, I'm, a, I'm expected to start raising family. You see, I'm not just asking <laughs> for you to be my girlfriend. Eh? We're still beating about the bush. What exactly do you want? Marriage, Udoka. Marriage. Oh! See, I'm looking for a woman oh. to settle down with. And I've found a person in you. <laughs> Honestly. Indeed. You're a big dreamer. Fine, if that is how you see it. So please, would you do me the honor to be my wife? Hmm. Chineke Nina. Why do people like creating problems for themselves? Hmm? With which resources? Are you going to raise the so-called family you want to start? Eh? Listen, we all earn the same salary every month. Understand? So, we are just a male servant in this palace. Udoka. Eh? See, stop saying things this way. You never can tell when the door to success will open. Who knows? And meanwhile, I, I have discussed with the king a couple of times, and he is talking about increasing my salary. You see? You and the king have been talking about increasing salary. Right on, bravo. Keep on dreaming. Oh, you're a big dreamer. Keep on. I don't have something reasonable to tell. Oh, okay. Excuse me, I don't have something reasonable to tell. But you know, 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 you they fail to understand certain things in life. Yes, they fail to see the future. They always think one will remain in poverty. I will keep pushing my luck. Brother, you cannot continue professing love to a chronic lesbian. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you something? Do, do, do. No, no. Are you sick or something? You are calling the woman I want to marry a, 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 a lesbian. Is something wrong with you? Brother, this is not the way to go about this. What are you talking about? Brother, think about what Sonto and I told you about the princess. Draw interference on it and decide on what to do about it. And who told you about the princess's involvement in lesbianism? I've been hearing it from so many people. But Amoge confirmed it herself. That's why I believed what she said. If this is coming from Amoge, that means it's not true. Why are you making that assertion? Because Amoge and her friends hate princess to the core. The information Amoge gave me about the princess doesn't have anything to do with the way she feels about that. What she said is the truth. Did you confirm with her whether she was caught red-handed or something? Why would I ask her when she has confirmed it herself? She cannot say what she's not sure of. Okay. Please, can you help me and ask them? I want to be sure before taking any action. If that's what you want, I will ask her. 
Thank you so much. I'm about leaving the house. I remember to come back on time. I will. But what about the money you promised me? Go to my room. Open the drawer very close to my bed. You will see some money there. Take 10,000 already and go and get yourself what you want. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Don't forget to come back on time. I will. I've our brother about this. And what did he say? The way he reacted to us, it made it appear as if all the allegation is false. Come on, Shetashi. Don't even say that. A cousin of mine was a victim. How do you mean? The princess nearly raped her in the palace. It was the Onowo's arrival that saved her. If not for the Onowo, she would have been raped. This your cousin. Is she actually a lesbian? She went there innocently, and the princess came on her. I don't know why my brother and Nanyelo will not listen to us. I don't know why. You must do everything to cut her off from your brother. If not, she will destroy him. Why is she not returning? Me, yeah, I don't know. Do you think the princess is taking advantage of her? How? What do you suggest? Well, I think you should go and check on her. Because she might be in danger. Who knows? I think the princess can not go something. Who made you say so? Hey, we will not take it easy with the princess. I mean, why is the princess doing this? Eh? There are handsome guys in this kingdom and beyond that she can just take anyone and date. I mean, why is she doing this? Well, I think at this point, lesbianism has gone deep into the princess and it will be very difficult to pull it out. Hmm. Maybe we should just report all these things to the king. The king is fully aware of what she's doing. <laughs> But there was a time she promised the king that she was never ever going to do it again. Well, thank God you said there was a time she said because she has started again. And since she has started, we have to tell the king. Let us update the king also because if she should finish with her now, she will come for another person. <laughs> and before you know, we will all fall victims. So God forbid you. Ha! Before God will forbid it, we need to go and speak up. <laughs> exactly, but let's just wait here and see what happened. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. And she don't want to let it go. Something she learns from the wisdom world Is it taboo in our own culture and traditions? Something she call her freedom is against the law of our life. Are we going to be there for the entire meal? What is all we can do? And it's a big offense for anyone to invade the princess. But we cannot allow the princess to abuse and, uh, and bully any one of us now. Uh uh. Well, I think gift is right. Because if we should confront the princess, right, we'll be seen as. Joka! What happened to you? Joka! What happened to you? Wanted to take advantage of her. What is all this? The princess is an animal. She sees lesbianism as nothing.
Udoka, what exactly happened? Uh, I am not in the mood to explain anything to anyone. Okay. Udoka is here, so let's just uh, retire to our yes. Exactly. <laughs> Here comes the most beautiful girl in this kingdom. Okay, you've started again. Why are you not flattering me now? Do I look like the most beautiful girl in this kingdom? Says who? Says me. You are not in the right position to judge or to decide who is the most beautiful. Well, neither is it in your own position to decide who is the most beautiful. I am like a spectator. So I'm the right position to judge. Hmm. Adaka, you know what? I really don't have strength, okay? You've won. You've won. Hmm? I don't want to argue. You've won. Mm -hmm. So tell me, why did you ask to see me? No, I have to be straight with you. Mm -hmm. I have fallen in love with you. What? I know you will be surprised. Of course I am. But that is the truth. Okay, tell me, how long have you been nursing these feelings? For the very first day, I set my eyes on you. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, I like it. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Meaning you and I can be friends, right? Of course, we're friends already. I mean, you and I in a relationship. Um, no, hell no. I have a boyfriend. Yes. But we can still be friends now. We can be friends. You know, I like you. I like the fact that you, you're you funny. I like you. We are friends like that. I have a boyfriend. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you not giving me this now? It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, that's all right. It's all right. I can go. Sure. Cheer up now. What are you doing? Okay, bye. Okay. See you. Mommy, Daddy, please, can you go with me? My love, don't worry. The guard will take you there, all but right? But you promised. Some other time, okay? Good girl, good girl, okay? Give me a kiss. Don't worry, they will take you there, okay? Be a good girl, promise me. Good. Oh, yeah, Dad. Stay with her. All right. Bye bye. <sighs> <sighs> um, my love, you didn't tell me the outcome of your meeting with the Omo. The man is still insisting on the cleansing he's been hammering on. Why? Why is he being that stubborn? Or does he have any personal interest in this? The man is only doing his job. I don't see anything wrong with that. He has to stop. He's pushing this too much. He can't keep pushing any further. Same thing I told him, but he refused to listen. He's insisting. Then you move on without him. In my point, another no. The entire kingdom cannot be pinned down because Ono is demanding for what doesn't concern him. I cannot do it. In this kingdom, an Ono who can only be sacked when it has been established that his actions are against the interests of the kingdom and the heads of the whole villages must be part of it. In this case, he is for the kingdom. We cannot force him. If we attempt to do that, it will boomerang. That means he's holding everyone to ransom. Well, whatever way you see it, we can only plead and negotiate and hope that he's of pedals. I don't like this. 
I'm beginning to see this like um, a way of holding the entire royal kingdom to ransom and it's not going down well with me. You need to understand that apart from being the know of this great kingdom, he is my very personal friend by the virtue of being the head of the Nzenozo. We can only continue to negotiate with him and hope that he comes around. How did he go? Well, exactly as I thought. What did you tell him? The truth, of course. Wishes? I'm in a relationship now. In a relationship with who? He's looking at the question as this one. Uh -uh. A question that requires an answer. Because I don't know you to be in a relationship. If I thought I told you my boyfriend lives abroad. Boyfriend what? The boyfriend that stopped calling you three months after he traveled. And this is three years down the line. And he has not contacted you. Well, I feel maybe things are just a bit difficult with him. But he will come around. I know that is what you are going to say. But what if he has died? Oh, forbid. Who will you say such a thing? If we don't give an example with death, it will appear as if death has stopped killing people. Can we change this topic? No. Let's deal with it once and for all. Yeah. Angole, you are wasting here for nothing. Give another relationship a space and see what becomes of your life. Well, I don't blame you. I blame myself. She was the one that opened my mouth and told you I am in a relationship. I told you my boyfriend lives overseas. That's why you have the, the nerve to open your mouth and say rubbish. But it's true. People have not called me ever since he left. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Oh, not at all. <laughs> the drink kept me company in your absence. And I hope the drink did not replace me in your heart. Oh, never. <laughs> you know you are irreplaceable, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just wanted to be sure. Okay, so, what is the good news all about? <sighs> the festival of Nchekwago is around the corner. And as the princess of Omori Kingdom, I am expected to lead the festival. I am disappointed hearing this from me. Why? I just told you that the festival is around the corner. And as a princess, I'm expected to perform certain rites. So I don't know why you're disappointed in me doing my job. Whatever it is, they have brainwashed you with. In the name of festival, it's dirty and fetish act. And I don't want you to be part of it. Oh, come on, baby. You're misunderstanding the whole thing. Look, this festival is not fetish or dirty in any way. It is. And I said, I don't want you to be part of it. My love, I think you're misunderstanding the whole thing, and I will explain to you. <laughs> Why would you have explaining? My love, I said I don't want you to be part of this. Is that too difficult for you to do? <sighs> Listen, <sighs> during this festival, I, the princess, will stand barefooted before the Onyowa sacred tree and make supplication for the women of Umuri Kingdom. Doing this at the appointed date, we stamp my authority amongst the women and hand me a lot of respect. If I am respected, does that not extend to you? 
We just mentioned all the enticing parts of the tradition. But you have not mentioned that you will be standing half naked before the sacred tree of Onua and the entire world will see your nakedness. Come on, babe. I don't know where you're getting this from. I am not going to be half naked or going naked before anyone. Listen, during this festival, I, the princess, will be well decorated and adorned with the ancient Jigida, which is going to cover my hips and my chest. So trust me, I'm not going to go half naked before anyone. And your laps. And your stomach. Will be exposed for the whole world to see. And those nonsense women, and even the men, will all see that part of you. Why? I don't want them to see that part of you, my darling. Please, don't do it. Leave. I wouldn't want to repeat myself. Lady Harlot, or whatever they call you, leave. Leave! advise you. I'm not a chief advisor. Let me hear you. When you can leave that girl, go for another. Is that your, your advice? Well, that is not possible for me. <laughs> I, hope, um, I don't understand. How do you mean? <laughs> Udoka is, is, is a woman that I, I, I love. I am ready to spend the rest of my life with her. She is the air I breathe. Don't you understand? This same person does not love you. She has told you that she does not love you. What are you going to do? I'll keep hoping. Keep pestering her, disturbing her. And I know that one day she will, she will open her arms for me. <laughs> Onyeka, I laugh at you. This same Udoka, when she says a thing, she sticks to it. So what do you want to do? See, let me tell you. There is something you fail to understand about women in general. Every girl has her breaking point. And I, Onyeka, I am ready to push Udoka to her breaking point. And believe me, when I get there, she must break and she will open up to me. <laughs> Onyeka, I laugh at you again. Let me even ask you, what exactly do you want from this girl? What every sane man wants from a woman? Love, care. What else will I possibly want from her? <laughs> Onyeka, is that all? Yes. I know you too well. I'm a Kwam girl for my, I know you. You will just do away with her the way you have done with other women. You see, that is an aspect of Onyeka that you're getting wrong. Onyeka have changed for Udoka. I am a changed person. See, I love that girl. And she's my final bus stop. Once I get her, I will stop all this numerous girls' things. <laughs> Concentrate. <laughs> Onyeka, yes. I laugh at you again. Huh? Laugh is getting too much. Okay. Yes! Because you have suddenly become vegetable. 
Mwemoy Bobozi because of this girl. I think you're right. And that is to show you that I feel something for her too. That is to show you that the chemistry is working. That is to show you that the change that I talk about is real. Onyek and Duduk. Even from the name, you can tell there is something. Come on. Okay, let's see. Is it because you have kaka -ka -ka, eh, in your names? Okay, if you insist, let's see how it goes. I'm not just insisting. My mind is made. Talking about it with you is just... Just talking. There's nothing you say that will change my mind. Have you, have you examined that girl? Have you taken a close look at her back axle? Her behind? If she's moving, everything is moving. She's moving away, my dear. She's moving away, my soul. Ah! You are, you, are, you, are, you are finished already. I know. As if that back as you are talking about, when the action starts, the back as will be on the ground. You won't even look at it. When the time comes. Okay. Yeah. You don't look happy. What is it? Your husband is at it again. What did he do? He's just walked out my friend from the palace as if she's a kid. Why? I don't know. My husband, your brother, whom you know so well, would not do such a thing without a reason. I am telling you, he has no reason whatsoever. He hates me so much, and he detests everything that makes me happy. I will speak with my husband, and I'll get back to you. My queen, please speak to your husband that he should not intimidate my friend. He can intimidate every other person in this community. But never let the child out. Because I, Princess Ebubena, will not give him that chance to do that. Else, the entire community will gather because of us. Like I said, I'll speak with my husband and we will resolve this amicably. Okay. So now, Cheryl. Don't try. You don't have to try. Put a smile on that face. Hey, look at me. Where is man? Mm? <laughs> Better. Trust the process, okay? I'll fix it. Yeah. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. Uh, she don't want to let it go uh, She's living a way what life uh, Something she learns from the wisdom world uh, It's a taboo in our own culture and tradition Alpha, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? You go, I'm not fine. What happened? I just cannot hide my feelings for Uba anymore. <laughs> Wait, do you mean you're actually serious about what you've been telling me about this guy? If I don't mean it, why would I voice it out? Look, at this point, I'm just. I'm helpless. Oh, I guess you were thinking about him yesterday. That was why you forgot the food you had on the fire. Exactly. How do you know? Eh, through your words and your body language. So what are you going to do now? Chugo, that is where I want you to help me. How do you mean? Please, I need you to help me and talk to him. What? Why? I 
want my intentions registered on him, but I want to help me and do it. Do you see, it, 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 it is somehow approaching a guy in this part of the world. It, it, it doesn't make sense. That is the problem. Eh? People see these things as, 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 as a crime here, but overseas abroad, women do these things for people they love. Well, you've not been to overseas before, so you don't know how it happens there. But it's not a crime now. It's not a crime for me to tell him that I love him. See, the danger of approaching a man in this part of the world is that the guy will not take you serious. He will see you as a loose person and, 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 and somebody that is just there for sex. <sighs> But without sincerity, the Uba that I know, he's not that kind of a person. I know him. <laughs> Wait, relax. Please help me. All this thing you're talking about, is it the same Uba that I know? Yes. Yes. Please. <sighs> okay. Please. Please. I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you and talk to him. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so um, let me just uh, carry on with what I was doing. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> Melis, finally the festival of Nchepa Boro is here. Yes. I know. <laughs> I've heard so much about this festival and I can't wait to experience it. Same here. Same here, my dear. But it's quite unfortunate that the festival may not hold. May not hold? Yes. Why? I told you people that I am waiting for the princess at a particular junction, remember? Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, I remember. You told me that. We are now at that junction. Come, Ezine. You are confusing us. Can you please talk to us in a language that we can understand what you're talking about? Please. Didi, are you the one asking me? You and I know very well that traditionally, the princess leads the charge and other maidens follows. That's exactly what my father told me. And that is exactly where the problem lies. Yes, the princess is a defied woman and cannot be allowed to lead the maidens to the sacred land of Oyoa. I personally will not allow that. Never. Yes, I understand you. It's going to be very unfair. I may even attract the anger of the gods if you allow her lead us to the sacred place of Oyoa. Oh. But there could be another way. Indeed. There is no change. There is nothing we can do about it. Wait, 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 maidens. I am becoming more confused. Isn't it? Can you tell me exactly why you think the princess is unholy? Because I don't understand what you're talking about. My dear friend, your father, the mm -hmm. Olum, is in the better position to answer this question. Really? Yes, of course. In that case, I'm going to ask my father and hear what he has to say in regards to this. And what if the princess insists on leading the charge? What will happen? <laughs> A toad does not run in the daylight for nothing. If it's not after something, then something is chasing it. <sighs> there will be a very serious problem. A big problem. We are going to scatter everywhere. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Yes, are, are we all prepared to go to war with the princess? We all know how mean she can be. I don't understand you. How mean she can be? Are you trying to discourage us? We are not in this alone. All the maidens of this land are involved. And believe me, she can't win us in this. Never. <laughs> Never. Your Majesty, I 
I actually wanted to have a discussion with you, but since you're busy, I think I'll just um, say it some other time. No, no, it's fine. It's okay. What is it about? <clears throat> it's about your sister. What about my sister? I feel you should allow her to live her life. I mean, she's come of age and she can make decisions herself. I don't understand you. Stop domineering her. Allow her to follow her heart. I don't believe this is coming from you. How could you subscribe to this? Calm down, your majesty. Don't don't tell me to calm down! If your mother had married another woman, would they have given birth to you? Your majesty, come on. What she's asking for is being internationally practiced by the men and women who brought civilization to us. They had a test run on it and it was okay and they are doing it. So I mean, there's nothing wrong if she also does it. The worst thing you can ever do as a queen of an African kingdom is to jettison our life and culture and live by the standard of others. I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying you no longer believe in civilization? We are Africans. Not just Africans. We are an African royal family. And we know what the standards of marriage is. A man gets married to a woman and they build a family. If my father were alive, he would never allow his daughter marry another woman. So you read my lips. I won't allow that. Alright, okay. But I will... There are no buts here. This is final. I will not allow that. And then you go tell Lady Charlotte that I don't ever want to see her in this palace again. The next time I set my eyes on her in this palace, I will curse her with the offer of my forefathers. Your Majesty, are you going to involve the offer in this? He hasn't gotten to that. I wish to be left alone. I don't want to continue further with this discussion. Just like that? In any case, if you want to continue with the discussion, we can just talk about us, nothing else. Do you know I don't like to disobey you? But you always push me to the wall. I'm sorry, my dear, but this is really irritating. You know I don't like to get you angry myself, but then you just keep lowering yourself to the standards of Classless people only in the name of trying to fight for them. This should stop. Please. Okay? Ego, how long will it take for father to come back? I don't know. Would you maidens rather go and come back later? Uh, Ezine is in the position to answer that question. Ah, girls, I just finished call with Odo now. Really? Yes. And what did you say? He's on his way coming. Oh, great. That means there will be no need for you to go and return later. Who made that suggestion in the first place? We are not going anywhere. <laughs> Father! Greetings, Odo. Greetings, Odo. Greetings, the beautiful maidens of my land. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for so long. No, no. Hey, go, you didn't offer them anything. I did, Father. They are done. Oh, they are done? Yes. And they are looking as if they are not done. <laughs> okay, can you adjust? Can you adjust, adjust a bit? Yes. So, can we get down to the business? Let's get down to it immediately. Yes, no. It's all about the festival of Nchepabo, which comes up every 10 years. And as the maidens of this land, we want to get things done 
and right. That's why we are here. Well, it will depend on what you mean by getting it right. And equally, it will depend on what you made as a plan. But there is something I need to let you know. The festival we are talking about has a standard. A standard established by our ancestors that it must follow. And as the owner who of this kingdom, I am insisting that we must maintain that standard in this very festival. Oh no, based on what you just said, I don't think the princess will lead the charge. She is defied and cannot be allowed to lead the maidens to the sacred land of Onyowa. No. And she can't be allowed to make progressive comments for the maidens. Mm -mm. Well, I need you to understand that as the princess who is already above 18 years in that palace, she is the one who is qualified to lead the charge for the prayers for the festival. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. And she don't want to let it go. She's living a way of life. Something she learns from the wisdom world. Hello. I believe you heard exactly what happened today. What happened? Please, don't give me that pretense. You know exactly what I'm talking about, so don't pretend to me. Please! Of what use would pretending be to me at this juncture? I was at the palace minutes ago. Oh, you were? That means you left. I left against my will. If you didn't leave of your own free will, how then did you leave? Your husband, the king, asked me to leave. What? Why? Well, I fear he still sees me. As a bad influence to his sister. Ah, oh, come on, Lady Charlotte. Far from that, what the king actually thinks is that. And that is exactly what it is. See, Queen, you are not doing your job. And I don't like it at all. I am doing my job. Trust me. I've been trying so hard to do everything possible to make the king understand what you both feel for each other and also give him reasons to see why you should marry the princess. And what did he say when you said that to him? You know exactly what he would say. But the most important thing here is that I have started the conversation. <sighs> you are not doing your job. Trust me, you are not doing your job at all. I insist that I am doing my job. The fact is, the king is just being very stubborn, but I know that if you give him time, he'd have no choice but accept. Queen, that time is what I don't have. I want my marriage with the princess to hold as soon as possible. And everything about that marriage is in your hands. Ah, uh, I can't guarantee you anything right now. But like I said, I'll keep talking to the king. Goodbye. <sighs> I know she thinks I'm lying. Oh God knows I am doing my very best. I don't know why the king is just being stubborn. You should just let these people express what they both feel for each other. I know it. I know she will fail me when it's her time to return the favor. I know. Oh no, 
what you presented to us has weakened us completely. Hmm. That means an impure princess will lead the pure maidens for the sacred empowerment of maidens that happen once every 10 years. <sighs> As in uh, the truth, as it concerns the festival of Inchapa Boa, is that I will never allow what you fear to happen. We are confused, don't know. Why will you be confused? If you have been following the turn of events in this kingdom, you should have known that I have not been going to the palace. Oh no, we are aware of your refusal to visit the palace. Well, I, um, I am taking this very stand of not going to the palace because I want things to be done the right way. We know why you don't want to go to the palace, you know. But our problem is, what if the king decides to move on without you? It is not possible. But no, you sounded as if you don't know the kind of power the king will and what he's capable of. Well, I know the kind of power that he wields, and I equally know what he's capable of doing. But you have to understand, I am on the right track this time around, and there is no way the king can force me into doing anything. So, what is the conclusion on this matter now? The conclusion of the matter is that the princess is defied, just like you said. And she must have to present herself for cleansing. If she fails to present herself for cleansing, then there is no way she will lead the charge in the festival of Nchapa Boa. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh no. What if she refuses to come for cleansing? Then uh, we have no other option than to go for the next alternative. Which is? Well, uh, I will have to let you know that uh, I am not going to tell you the next alternative now until the time comes. All right. Oh, no. Thank you for your time. We appreciate. You're welcome, and uh, I appreciate the fact that you came to make these inquiries from me. We will be on our way now. It's okay. It's okay. And I do not hesitate to come back if you need any other information so that you don't make mistakes, okay? Okay, Papa. Let me see. That. Thank you, no. Good. Thank you. And uh, come back and give me something to eat. Yes, Papa. <laughs> These are the maidens that you have in the kingdom. And the one who is already defied is uh, the one who is going to lead the child. Or they are going to be up by the map. Were you able to speak with him? Yes, I did. So what did he say? He didn't want to hear it. Did you make him understand it is my choice? Of course. Then why is he stubborn over this? You should know your brother very well, better than I do. He could be very stubborn, but loving. You can attest to that. Oh, please. At this point of my life, I don't need his love. All I need is for him to understand and allow me to do the things that I need to do. That's all. Maybe you should tell him. Pour out your mind to him. But do you think he's going to accept it? You never can tell. For once, you know, you haven't told him exactly what you want. So maybe you should say to him with your own mouth. It could change a lot of things. That's correct. Once you get him to sympathize with you, you use that opportunity to express yourself and make him understand how you feel about the whole thing. You're correct, my queen. So let me go and see him then. Hmm? I don't think that would be a good idea. Why? Because he's still very angry. So maybe you could see him much later in the evening. That way he 
his anger would have died down. <laughs> Take it easy. Girls, what do you think? Mm. If you ask me, I feel the man is hell bent in doing the right thing. Exactly. But the power wouldn't allow him to do that. If the king tries to force him, we will revolt. Exactly what I have in mind. A woman who has committed abomination cannot lose the sacred place of Onyuwa. Honestly, it surprises me that the princess is positioning herself to lead the church when she knows that she's surrounded with a lot of question mark. That's what surprises me. You know, that goes a long way to explain the evil in her heart. If I were her, I would just hide my face in shame. Or better still, do the cleansing. Why can't they even do the cleansing? Same question I have been asking myself. I have been asking myself this same question. Why can't she go for the cleansing so that the battle between the royal family and the know who we fed away? What's it going to take her? Oh, get it. Maybe if she goes for the cleansing, people will question her involvement with lesbianism and she'll be exposed. <laughs> In that case, she may not subject herself for the cleansing. Then the battle with the Onoa and the king goes on and on. Hmm. My only happiness is that there is another way. <laughs> Who knows what the other way will be? Ndidi, chill. The blood be hot. <laughs> no will let us know when the time is right, okay? Isn't it? Hmm? We are waiting. No Till <laughs> then. Right. We have to go. <laughs> See you guys. Eh? My yes, get, get. <laughs> Okay. All right, take care. Don't forget to. No problem. I'll bring it for you. <laughs> All right. I want us to discuss like brother and sister. Okay. What do you want to do with your life? I just want to live my life the way I please. That's all. But I've given you liberty to live your life as you please, haven't I? I know, brother. I know you've given me the liberty to do what I want. But there's an aspect of my life you're not giving me the freedom to express. Which is? In choosing a life partner, I just want someone I can spend the rest of my life. Someone who loves me and I love the person back. Are you telling me Nanya is not okay for you? No, brother. I don't love him. And I can't possibly see myself spending the rest of my life with him. But Nanyere is a very hard-working man. And I believe he'll take very good care of you. I, I know he's hard-working and he'll take good care of me. But I don't love him. Why? This is the kind of man every girl dreams of having as a husband. Why don't you see that in him? Brother, I am not every girl. See, that's the problem. I just want you to give me the freedom to be able to choose someone who truly loves me and I love the person in return. Please. Is it too much to ask? Well, it's your choice to make. Feel free. Really? Yes. yes. <laughs> this is the best thing you're ever going to do for me. <laughs> Yeah, you're my sister, you know, and I'll do everything on earth to make you happy. Thank you. All you need to do is, um, when it's convenient for you both, bring the man home and then we'll take it up from there. It's not a man. It's not a man. I didn't hear that. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with is not a man.
You didn't tell me you were coming. I called you, but you were not picking, so I wanted to surprise you. I don't but like you... that. I don't like people barging into my house without informing me. You refer to me as people. That is not the point. Why are you here? Why are you sounding as if you're fighting? You just invaded my privacy. Do you expect me to be happy? Or you're scared that the princess might walk in on us? I don't have time for argument. Why are you here? I wanted to come and spend some time with you, but I think you're not in the mood for that. I'll just take my leave. No, no, it's, 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 not, it's not like that. Don't take it that way. Well, okay. your countenance and your body language says it all, so I'll go on. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I reacted the way you don't like. No problem. I will go then, I will call you on phone then. If you say I should come, I will come back. <laughs> or if you say I should not, I will stay in my house. That's funny. <laughs> you don't do that. Come on. Yeah, I'm serious. I will actually do that. I will call you. I'm sleeping a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. Ah. What you have just said is totally absurd. And I do not ever want to hear that again. But you said we're discussing like brother and sister. You promised me you were not going to get involved with any kind of lesbianism again, remember? And I did keep to my words, brother. Before now, I, I know I was into so many ladies, but I've decided to choose just one person. Getting married to a woman is totally out of it. What has come over you a bit name? Do you ever remember your royalty? Oh, that's the problem. I hate it when you associate this royalty with every aspect of my life. I mean, can't I just live a normal life like a normal human being? And what is wrong with me getting married to Lady Charlotte from your Oh. That classless woman of the lowest ebb is the one? And you want me to answer that question? Why are you calling her classless? I mean, this woman is hardworking. And she's a perfect example of every woman, every man or woman wants to spend the rest of their lives with. I do not want to continue listening to this abomination. If you get married to a fellow woman, how are you going to reproduce? <sighs> I can't remember telling my brother I wanted children. Yes, I just wanted to spend the rest of my life with this woman and enjoy the best days of my life. That's all, brother. Come on. Oh, my God. You, you see why father regretted sending you abroad to study? Now you're making him regret even more in the grave. Why are you bringing our dead father into this? The dead has no place among the living. What you're saying is nonsense! And it has to stop. Because my ears are filled with this abomination you're vomiting. Okay, fine. If having children is your problem, there's a way out. Which is? Maybe <laughs> because I don't know how a woman impregnates another woman. <laughs> Oh goodness, my brother, the great king of Umuri Kingdom, is still living in the dark stages of life. Oh, come on, brother. Tell her ways. Okay, now look at it this way. If I get married to Lady Charlotte, we invite a man over, I meet with a man, I get pregnant, and we start producing kids. <laughs> and you call that a life? Of course, that's the best life to live. And I just want you to please allow me to live my life. Never. What? Get out of my sight. Out! And now that I know what both of you are planning, I don't ever want to see that low life Lady Charlotte in this palace again. <laughs> that can never happen, brother. I was trying. 
and planning to tone down my initial instructions. But now that I've seen how recalcitrant you are, if you ever make her come to this palace again, what I will do to the both of you, you will wonder if I'm still your blood. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the food. As always. <laughs> you go by daughter. You know you are a very wonderful cook. <laughs> Thank so you. So whatever thing you decide to prepare. It's always the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Father, I want to tell you something. Go ahead. You see, Father, while my friends and I were waiting for you, they talked about this festival fast approaching. Festival of Njawabo. Hey, hey. They said um, they they said some things about it. I do, I'm not um. I have very little knowledge about this festival, mm -hmm. which is why I decided to ask you about it. Uh, first of all, I need to I need to hear from you what you have managed to understand from your friends Please. regarding the festival before I will I will tell you you know what you want to hear. That is the problem, Papa. I cannot remember their words word for word, but I think it was something in the effect of the princess having to appear before the sacred tree of Onyowa and uh, make prayers and supplications for the good of all the maidens of our land. That is how it is. Eh? Yes. On the appointed day of the festival, at that particular dot when the sun is in the center of the sky, the princess is expected to appear barefooted before the sacred tree of Onyowa to pray for the maidens of this kingdom. She's going to pray to the gods and goddesses of this kingdom that the spirit of fertility shall be poured on all the women of this kingdom who are expecting fruit of the womb. She's going to pray that decent men from all walks of life should be the ones coming to marry from this kingdom. She's going to pray that men who will respect their wives, men who will practically worship their wives, are the ones who will be coming to marry the maidens of this kingdom. And she's equally going to pray that all the useless men who beat their wives, all the men who frustrate their wives, all the men who abuse their women, should be diverted to other lands. Hmm. Yeah, it is a very complex prayer. Very complex prayer because uh, women look up to it. It is something that is connected to our root, and uh, we do not joke with that festival. And uh, it, is not, it is not possible for a maiden to partake in two different festivals, because any maiden who has taken part in one must have been married before the next one comes. Mm. That is why you don't see many married women in the kingdom. Hmm something that is deeply connected and we hold it very high. This is really deep, Papa. It's very deep. More is very deep as a land. But then, the princess we both know does not have the moral capacity to do this. My daughter, I must have to let you know that no sin is permanent. She can. She can? Yes. How? Because it is her right, as the princess who is already above 18 years in that palace, it is her right uh, to lead the festival of Nchapa Ball. If really it's her right, Papa, why then do you keep insisting she presents herself for cleansing? Uh, that is why I said no sin is permanent. If she submits herself for cleansing, because there is an abomination that is hanging around her neck, if she submits for cleansing and then she is cleansed of that abomination, the gods of this land will give her the grace to go ahead and lead that festival. And whatever that she prays, they will listen. But Father, mm -hmm. in a situation where she accepts to go for the cleansing, only to come back to the same scene, 
will it not affect her prayers and supplications? Uh, well, listen, <laughs> in this kingdom, what we have to do is to follow the laid down rules of our ancestors. They are the ones that provided that if somebody has committed an abomination, he or she must go for cleansing. And once you are cleansed, that abomination is no longer there. But if the person will now decide to go back to that same abomination again, we have to leave the girls to handle it. We have mastered something in this kingdom. We do not move faster than our girls. We allow the girls to move, and then we are following them. Little wonder we do not make a lot of mistakes in this kingdom. Hmm, Papa, <laughs> you are really rooted in tradition. I am in a kingdom that is rooted. So nationally, I have to be rooted myself. <laughs> hey! If, if I, I get, get married, married to Lady Charlotte, we invite a man over. I meet with a man, I get pregnant, and we start producing kids. <laughs> and you call that a life? Of course, that's the best life to live. And I just want you to please allow me to live my life. Called me, Your Majesty. You know the house of Lady Charlotte? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. You take me there in 10 minutes. Okay, Your Majesty. One more thing. Nobody must know about this. Okay. Get the car ready. What will people say when they hear about this? You need to calm down and tell me exactly what he said. He's against the idea. That's all I have to say. What's your take on this? I am still going to get married to the love of my life. How are you going to do that? I mean, you need someone to give you out in marriage. If no one is giving you out in marriage, then there's no marriage. And that would lead to problems. At this point, I don't care. Someone is trying to use his position to tempt me, and I refuse to be tempted by anybody. You should learn to avoid your brother when he's angry. My queen, I have done that in the past and he doesn't favor me. It's all about my happiness. Besides, he's just my brother, not my father. And even if he were my father, he can't even live my life for me. I wish you can just listen to me, Abu Benme. Your brother is a man who has assumed position as king in Omongwe. And he will go to whatever length to make sure he stops you from seeing Lady Charlotte. He cannot do that. Never. You don't know him. He is my husband and I know exactly what he is capable of doing. I think I should let you know who he is better. He is someone who can go to the extent of killing if that's the last option left for him to take Lady Charlotte out of the way. You didn't just say that. Of course I did. He's my husband and I know what exactly he's capable of. Yes, he will do that and nobody will say anything about it. Stop making me see my brother differently. He is harmless. He can't even hurt a fly. Yes, during the coronation, some things were inserted into his body, but that's just for the crown. Once the crown is taken away from him, he is as weak as vegetable. <laughs> you do not know your brother. Your brother is someone that whatever he's determined to do, he will do it. Mm -hmm. He'll do it and nobody will say anything. Well... It may be tough to other people, but not to me. He cannot harm me for any reason. I never said your brother was going to harm you. All I said is if he has to take Lady Charlotte out of the way, he will do that. If anything happens to Lady Charlotte, 
he will have me to contend with. She's living a way of life, hey. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She don't want to let it go. She's living a way of life. She learns from the wisdom world. Yeah. Is it a boy? Keep your greetings to yourself. I'm not interested in it. You don't sound well, Your Majesty. What is the problem? You were the problem. And I can confirm you're still the problem. Well, I can't remember doing anything against the will of the king. Neither have I done anything against, nor contrary to the tradition and customs of our people. By your standards, you may not have done anything wrong. But by the king of Omori, you have committed an abomination. Stay away from my sister. Lady Charlotte, or whatever they call you. You have made my crown. Kiss the sons of Omori. Stay away from my sister. I don't understand your majesty. Shut up. I am not done talking. Apologies. I do not need your apologies and I will never do. Stay away from my sister. Cancel whatever you have with her or I will cancel you. Can I at least say something? I have no interest in whatever you have to say. If you do not stay away from her, it will be so unfair, Your Majesty, not to at least tell me what I have done wrong or what my offense is. In this kingdom, as in every other kingdom that understands the ideology of Chukogi Kabiaba. A woman does not marry a woman. It may be acceptable in other places, but here it is an abomination that has dire consequences. And I will not let it happen. Not while I am still seated on the throne of Omori Kingdom. Stay away from my sister or I will invoke the destructive powers of the ancient staff of Omori Kingdom. And I will do it like never before. She's living a way of life, hey. Oh, hey. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. Hey. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She learns from the wisdom world. Is it taboo in our own culture and tradition? And on a science or something she call her freedom is against the law of our land. It is a tattoo. Your brother was here. How did you know your house? A guard drove him. What did he say? He came to threaten me as usual. What? What were his exact words? That we should stop seeing each other. Never. That cannot happen. If we do not stop, that he will invoke the destructive power of the ancient staff of Omori, on me. What? Exactly what you just heard me say. <sighs> My love, I have an idea. What? I 
think we should elope. I mean, travel to any other country, get settled, and if possible, get married to herself. My darling, the agenda is to make our people embrace the independence of the women. And we have not achieved that. Because our people still see us as an abominable people. Now, running away should be the act of cowardice. <laughs> we are not running away. I, I don't understand why you're so bothered about the people right now. We should be bothered about our happiness. And my suggestion is the best way we can do it. Remember, my brother is a very powerful king and he can go to any length to stop us. Sugar, I know how powerful your brother is. And I also know that the power to separate us is in our hands, right? So, nobody, not even your brother, has the power to separate us. Am I right? So, what are you saying in summary? What I'm saying in summary is that we should sit back, fight, and protect our relationship. What we share, our love. We shouldn't run away. Please. <sighs> I'm worried. Don't. I'm here for you. We should be here for each other. Hmm? I love you. I love you more. He didn't have to do that. My brother has crossed the line this time. And I will not give it to him. Why must he remove his cap and drop on the ground to one Lady Charlotte? I mean, that's too extreme. Honestly, my queen, that is not my business. If he likes, he should remove his royal apparel and drop on the ground just to intimidate an innocent woman who has done no wrong to him. I am not moved. But he must be meant to leave me alone. See, you need to understand that what your brother did is deeply spiritual here in Omombe. Yes, so do not take it for granted. What does it mean? He has presented Lady Charlotte to the gods of his fathers with the <gasps> earth bearing witness. If he lays a curse on her, it will stick. You see what I mean, my queen? You see what I mean? Why has he not let these causes on the terrorists terrorizing our kingdom? Why has he not let these causes on the kidnappers? Why does he have to lay causes on an innocent woman who has done him no wrong? This is not a time for war. Calm down with diplomacy. Who are you? I'm Nekama. And I'm Nene. Why are you here? We are from this kingdom. Yes. I want to be friends with you now. Ma, we have observed you for a while now and we discover you're a great woman. So you want to get that cash to you so that you can become great too. Yes, ma. Yes. I see. You're welcome to my house. Come, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to my house once again. Thank, thank you. you. Please, I'm not cut out for that ma nonsense thing. Call me Lady Charlotte. Okay, okay Lady Charlotte. Charlotte. You're welcome. So, what do I offer you? Food juice. Okay. I'll get you that. Excuse me. She's rich. 
can you find Paolo? Eh? I will lose him, but there's something rich for this soon. I tell you all. Hey. I tell you all. Eh? See how you're feeling. <laughs> She's living away what life is. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. Yeah. Hey. She's living a dirty lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. And she don't want to let it go. Yeah. Oh. She's living away what life yeah. Something she learns from the Western world. Mm. It's a taboo in our own culture and tradition. And I'm a science something she call her freedom. It's against the law of our land. Oh. It is a taboo for a woman to lay a fellow woman in a land. It is a taboo. I'm a bunny in a science oh, oh, It's an abomination to say to women who are intimately in love. You know they have no idea. It's an abominable thing. Stop. One of them will definitely be lucky. Good afternoon, brother. Fine afternoon, Udoka. How are you doing? But I'm not fine. What happened? I want to resign from this work. Why? I don't want to work again. I don't understand. You don't want to work again. You must have a reason for that. It doesn't matter. Of course, it does matter. Alright? Come on, tell me. Well, well, if, if you must know. The, the princess has been making passes at me. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand, like, come on. The princess is a girl like you. She can't be making advances at you now. But, but I, she's a lesbian. What? Lay? No, it's a lie. But I have no reason to lie to you. She disturbs me every night. And the way things are going, I'm no longer comfortable. Um, I think uh, this is no reason for you to resign from your work. Eh? All you just need to do is just keep resisting her. Besides, she won't rape you. But I don't understand though. With the way things are going in there, <laughs> she may decide and drop me. Last, last, she, she raped me. Oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. She can't rape you. Huh? Just keep resisting her by the time she finds out that you're not interested. Then she will give up. Okay? That, that means I should continue working. Yes, that's what you will do. Keep on working. Okay? Oh. Just always be the good girl you are. Alright? Oh. Come on, give me that <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah. My regards to everyone. Yeah. All right, I will. Bye bye. Keep making us proud, yeah? Bye bye. Hey! Nayere! Nayere! Hope you like the drink. Yes, I love it. it tastes good. Nice. At this point, don't you think it will be nice we we we'll make some meal and eat? Make something delicious. Eat together. It will be fine. Nene, what about you? Sure, anything. Okay, um, Neka, let me get you some money to rush down to the village market and get some things, right? Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Mm. What are we going to buy? I have rice in the house. You can just get things uh, to prepare stew. Hmm? 
10 kilos of turkey. It's fine. Whatever you know you can get for stew preparation. Okay. All right. So drink up so that you rush to the market. Okay. Okay. Nene, I can see you are feeling sleepy. Yes. Would you mind I show you a bedroom where you can sleep very well? I appreciate that. Fine. Then drink up. Mm -hmm. Please, you can drink a glass of coffee. Shall we? Naye! 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 What is it and why are you screaming my name as if someone is after your life? Naye, no one is after me. Nobody is after me. Hey! Why are you screaming my name like What I just heard about the princess this afternoon is not pleasant to hear at all. What is that that you heard about the princess? I was reliably informed that the princess is a lesbian. Ah. Uh, uh, Chude, why are you talking like this now? And who is feeding you with all these lies? Oh, Naila, this is not a lie. This is not a lie. Now tell me. What is your source of information? Good. I hope you remember that my sister is working at the palace. Yes. Good. The princess is making a scheme on how to sleep with her. How? That was the exact question I was asking how. Uh, today. Today. I want to believe that it is not your sister who is cooking up all this story in order to make princess the love of my life appear bad before me. Oh, I hate the way that things at times. I hate it. This is not a plan. This is this, this is pure truth. Are, are you for me? Yes. That means it is true. So, princess is a lesbian. that my sisters have been telling me about this but I do not believe them. Yes, you have to believe. You have to believe and run for your dear life because if you end up marrying her, you will just make out of her body while her mind is with another woman elsewhere. Hey! Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> you should be thanking your God though. Go and thank your God. They just saved you. Princess. A lesbian. Hmm. Hey! She's living a way of life, eh? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's living a dirty lifestyle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she don't want to let it go. Yeah. Oh, she's living a way of life. Yeah. Something she learns from the Western world mm. It's a taboo in our own culture and traditions And I'm a science Something she call her freedom It's against the law of our land oh. It is a taboo For a woman to lay a fellow woman in a land It is a taboo I'm a bunny in a science oh, oh, It's an abomination to say to women who are intimately in love. You know, they have a man. It's an abominable thing. No, stop living away with life. Oh, practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. I, I, I talked to a friend two days ago. We saw him from the inside. Yes. He was here. He just left. Just like that? Yes. What is it, brother? You don't look yourself. It is true. 
What, what is true? What you guys told me about Princess. Oh, you have found out. Yes. Today my friend just told me about it. Thank God someone you trust has told you about it. You think we are trying to tarnish the princess's image. But how could she involve herself in such dirty act? The same question I keep asking Chetachi. Thank God the truth has come to light. Brother, you just have to choose another girl and get married to her. Exactly. I, I, I don't understand. We'll get you a new wife. Forget about the princess. Period. As what? As I cannot get another woman for myself or what? Will you put go inside? I can take anything from you. But threatening Lady Charlotte is what I will not take from you. Have you parted ways with your senses? You're talking to Ezo Gilisi of Omori Kingdom. And this is the princess of the same Omori Kingdom talking. I am having a conversation with my brother. So the princess and the king should be kept aside. I am not just your brother. I am now king. The custodian of the revered of all of Omori Kingdom. And you will definitely accord me that respect. Oh, come off it, brother. You know I respect you a lot. But the very moment you started encroaching into my privacy and using your king position to tame my sexuality, every respect I had for you dwindled. I keep forgetting you know who has ruled you have an abomination hanging around your neck. Why am I even wasting my time having this conversation? This conversation is very necessary because I, Princess Ebubene, I will get married to Lady Charles. How dare you mention that name? Are you mad? You slapped me. Mention that name one more time and I will do worse. You surely regret this. I, <laughs> I am only still leaving you alive because we are bound by blood. If not, I would have killed you. Oh, you hurt You think me. that's the idea? Because I've been keeping quiet. You think I'm a weakling? <laughs>
What is the meaning of this? Why are you not opening the gate? My princess, the king of Umuri has given an order that no one must disobey. You are joking, right? No, you are joking! So the king gave you such orders and you intend to keep such orders, right? My princess, the king ordered must not be disobeyed. Do you know I can kill you right now? If you don't open this gate right now, I'll kill you! My princess, if you want to kill me for obeying the king, you can go ahead. But I cannot disobey the king of Umuri. Very well then. You are fired! Nonsense. Hey, what is that your stupid name again? I said, what is that your stupid name again? My stupid man is Onyek. Onyek, I need you to open that gate right now. Uh, my princess, whoever that will disobey the king of Umuri kingdom is not yet born. And I am the princess of Umuri kingdom. So I deserve to be respected as well. Uh, you are right, but we are under an oath never to disobey the king. It's not done, my princess. I'm sorry. And why are you making a fool of yourself? Joining issues with guards on the what real earth. What exactly is the meaning of this? This is just the beginning. You still have mouth to talk because you can still see the sky where the birds will sing to your hearing. The next time you'll be restricted to your home. In my own father's house. Is that what you're doing? If that's how you see what has just played out, then so be it. Uh, my princess, the key. Which one is this one? She did pass anyhow. Which, which other will go to follow now? I don't know. Wala princess. So what up? Come on. What up? It's time to go home. Hello. What up? Wake up right now, okay? Wake, wake up! My God! My God! What's, what's, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Come on! What? Yo! Babe, 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 see, you, you have to, you have to get, get, get wake up. Wake! Hey! You get to wake up! You can't just do this! Oh my god! What do I do? What do I do? Oh my god! Come on! 
Mau gua tah? Hey, what's wrong? I, you don't look okay. I came here this early morning with my friend, so the owner of the house sent me to buy something. On reaching here now, the gate is locked. The owner of the house sent you to buy something. Yes, reaching sir. here, the gate is locked. Then what about the friend that you came with? She's still inside. She's inside? Yes. Then call the person that you came to see. I don't have a number. Sense something bad may have happened to your friend. What forbid, sir? Do you think? Do you have idea if they have dogs inside here? No, no, I don't think because I'll be knocking. If they have dogs, it'll be that makes sense. Question should be, what did you do to her? I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't do anything to her. I, we were both drinking, and she fell asleep. And um, Neka, did I do anything to her? I don't know, but this is not how I left my friend for going to the market. Where go? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything to her. My name is Caesars, and that name came because I caught so deep. <laughs> And not just deep, I caught so fast. Do you want to start telling us what you did to her? Or you want to experience scissors? I, 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 okay, I will talk. I will talk. Please just do not harm me, please. I will talk. Now start talking. Not in her presence, please. Neka, give us some space. Is my friend dead? No. She's alive. Give me some space. Explain what you did. I I let her drink with some proper fall. Why? Because, because I because I want to have her. <laughs> 